Welcome back to West Explains Best. Today we're going to be talking about the area of a sector. So this is a Khan Academy tutorial and the exercise is area of a sector. So let's go ahead and get started. So the per first problem is a circle with radius 3 has a sector with a central angle of 60 degrees. So to ask what is the area? So we got to understand first is what are we talking about when we're talking about the area of a sector? So a sector is the part of a circle that is composed of two radii connecting to the center of a circle okay and then we have a central angle here so one of the things we got to understand is when talking about area of a circle what is the formula so the area of a circle if you remember is pi times the radius squared keep in mind that we're only squaring the radius so if it helps you remember more do pi and then radius squared. But order of operations should lead you to the correct answer. I just see a lot of students that write pi times the radius and then they square that result. That is not how you do it. Now that's for a full circle though. So if we only want a portion of that circle, so if we're talking about this sector here, the portion that we're talking about is a limited uh, area of the circle. It's only a, a part of it. So how do we figure out how much of the whole circle that this little sector is? Well, since this is 60 degrees, as it says here, I'm not sure why that line appeared, but we'll roll with it. If it says 60 degrees, how much of that is an entire circle? So we need to think how many degrees are in a full circle? Well, there's 360. So if we're thinking about, okay, what portion of the circle are we talking about? 60 out of 360. So we take our angle, our central angle, and we divide it by 360 degrees. So that will give you 1 over 6. And if you want that in decimal form, then that will give you about 0 0.167. Now, what we do with this portion? Well, if we're talking about 1 6 of the circle, then we either take the area of the full circle and we divide by 6 or multiply by 1 over 6. So that leads us to our area formula for a sector. So the area of a sector is equal to pi r squared times our central angle we'll call theta so this will be theta and that's our central angle divided by 360 degrees so now we can just plug in our values and we're going to leave in terms of pi because it says we can leave in terms of pi right here um, because I, I, my personal preference as a math teacher is to leave in terms of pi and I know a lot of your teachers are probably the same way so we're going to plug in 3, and we're going to square that first. There, multiply by pi, multiply by 60, divide by 360. So what I like to do is I like to do uh, 3 squared, 9, times 60, and then just divide that by 360. And I get 1.5, don't forget the pi, and then it should be units squared. I'm not sure what the units are, so I'll just put units squared. I think it has it for us. So we put 1.5. I'm going to type pi. It's right there. Whoops, I didn't mean 11. 1.5 pi. We'll check it. There we go. Let's go ahead and do another one. A circle of area has uh, a circle has a sector with area 33 pi and a central angle of 11 over 6 pi radians. What is the area of the circle? So when we're talking about radians here, we're talking about a different type of unit. So most of your geometry classes are going to talk about degrees. So there's 360 degrees in the circle. Now there's also two pi radians in a circle. Whoops, let me erase that. So two pi radians. Okay, so for those that are seeing radians for the first time, essentially the, the process is the same, but now our measure is going to be a little bit different. Okay, so we gave the formula in degrees. Let me give you the formula for radians just so you know how to do, whoops, not arc length, just so you know how to do these problems. Okay, so we have area of a sector. Very similar process. We have pi r squared. But now we're going to multiply our central angle in radians. So let's, let's use uh, theta radians. And we'll divide that by 2 pi. 
So now it's just a little bit different, but the process is pretty much the same, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Whoops, I don't know why that line appeared, but we're basically ready to plug in stuff. So we have our area, our area's been given, so we're gonna plug that in for area, and now we're trying to find the area of the circle completely. In order to find the area of the circle completely, we need to find the radius. Notice how that has not been given. You don't see it written here. We need to find the, the radius so that we can find the circle. So write 33 pi equals pi r squared, we don't know what r is yet, times uh, our, our theta radian, so how, what's our, our measure, our central angle in radians? It's 11 over six pi divided by two pi. And now we're just gonna solve for r. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is you can cancel the pi's out, and essentially we have 11 divided by six, and we're gonna divide that by two. So that's the same thing as two different ways to express it. You could write it as a decimal. I'm gonna write it as a fraction though. 11 over six divided by two is the same thing as 11 over 12. Okay, because you can do 11 over six times one over two. And that gives you 11 over 12. Then we have 33 pi over here. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to get uh, the r by itself. So one thing I'm gonna do is I can divide both sides by pi. Or if you are confident enough, you can just cancel the pi's out. So now we have 33 equals uh, r squared times 11 over 12. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 12 over 11 to get rid of that. So what I can do here is I can cancel out the 33 and the 11, and I'm left with three. So I have 12 times three on the left equals r squared. So we get 36 equals r squared. Take the square root now of both sides, square root, square root, and I get r equals six. So r equals six. Now that's not our answer. The answer is asking for the area of the circle, the entire circle. So what we need to do is we need to plug that area of circle equals pi times the radius. We found it, six squared. 36 pi, and we're gonna leave that in radians. So it's just a little bit bigger than 33 pi, so we can kind of check our answer that way. We get 36 pi. Okay, a circle with uh, area 36 pi has a sector with central angle. What is the area of the sector? Okay, so a circle with area 36 pi. Okay, so now it's saying that the entire area of the circle is 36 pi. So see how it changed it. So now it's talking about the full circle is 36 pi. So we can find the area of the circle by pi r squared, not theta, sorry, I meant the circle. Let's put c equals pi r squared. We already know the area, it's 36 pi equals pi r squared, so we can find the radius. The whole point is find the radius and then we can find all the other stuff. So because there's a pi on both sides, we can cancel, or you'll find that if you divide by pi to both sides, it will cancel out. You're left with 36 equals r squared. Take the square root of both sides, you get r equals six. So we basically have the same radius that we did in the last problem. So we're gonna see, we're, we're gonna have the same answer. It's gonna be 33 pi. So if you're one of those people that likes to work fast, it's 33 pi, type it in, you're good to go. Now, for those that wanna see the process, that's what I'm about to show. So we need to refer to our uh, area of a sector formula, and that is pi r squared, sorry for that ugly pi, times the theta in radians divided by two pi. Because remember, there's two pi full radians uh, in a full circle, okay? So it's basically the same premise. You find the portion of the circle divided by the, the entire circle, but in, in, instead of th in, in place of 360 degrees, we're using two pi. That's the only difference. For those that are not confused with a, confused about what radian is, you'll learn more about that in pre-calculus, but just wanted to give you a heads up. Process is essentially the same. So now that we know what r is, we do pi times r squared. We know that's 36 times 11 over six pi over two pi, and that's gonna be the area of our sector. We already kind of showed in the last video, or the last problem, sorry, not last video. We can cross off those pi's, and then we can change 11 over six to 
to divide by 2 to times 1 half, and we get 11 over 12. So area of the sector is equal to pi times 36 times 11 over 12. Well, we can cancel <laughs> we can cancel the 36 and the 12, and we get pi times 3 times 11, and you'll see that we get 33 pi equals our area. So that's all we have for uh, time for for today. I hope you guys found this helpful in terms of finding the area of a sector in terms of radians and degrees. And I'll see you next time on West Explains Best. In the meantime, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest.